Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, and today we will discuss Parashat HaShavua, the Torah portion of the week, Parashat Ki Tetze. In this parasha, we really have more guidelines of how to build a society that really starts with marriage, children, family, and then our responsibility to others. Today I would like to focus on one of the most important educational messages that I think every parent must know. And I really would like to take a scenario that is very extreme, and according to some opinions in the Talmud, really never happened. It's called the concept of Ben Soreru More, which means a rebellious son. There is a child in a very specific age that does things that are borderline inappropriate, and the Torah demands that the parents will bring him to court and there is going to be some consequences to it. As I said before, many opinions say that it never happened. But I think there is a tremendous educational message in that specific case. The Torah states in that specific story many times that the parents must bring the child together. The phrase Aviv Veimo, his father and his mother, or Shnehem, both of them, is being repeated in these few verses many times. And the message that the Torah tried to send is the following. If we have any troubles or issues or matters to resolve with our children, if perhaps we are not exactly approving what they do or we are not happy with what they do. There is one question that we need to ask ourselves first and foremost as parents. Question number one, did we do what we need to do, what we had to do as Aviv, his father, Veimo, his mother? Were we there for our children as real parents? being there for our children, providing them a home, a comfort, support? That's the first question. The second question that we need to ask ourselves as parents is, did we try to always be Shnehem, meaning together, both of them together? Or did we play always the good cup, the bad cup with our children? And the third question that we need to ask ourselves as parents is, did we show consistency or we showed hypocrisy? Did we do what we told our children to do? Did we lead by example? Did we really become role models for our children? Now those are three very difficult, deep and important questions to ask ourselves as parents. So the Torah states, and that's perhaps why the opinion of the Talmud, the dominant opinion in the Talmud, that this case never happened, it's because we know we are talking about human beings. And it's easier to blame someone else for our faults rather than to look inside and to ask ourselves some tough questions. But for me, it doesn't matter so much if this case really happened once or not. What's important for me is really the educational message for us as parents. Children is a wonderful gift that God bestow upon us. But there's a tremendous responsibility as parents to educate our children. And before we come and blame everyone else, a school or a shul or a youth movement or this person or another person, Let's look at ourselves and see what kind of parenting do we provide to our children. Consistency must be one of the most important things for us as parents. Because children detect immediately fake or if someone is ingenuine. Secondly, do we do everything we can 
to really be parents, to provide this sense of belonging, a sense of comfort, a sense of security to our children. Even if we do all of that, you may have a rebellious child. There are no guarantees. But at least we must do what we can do in order to ensure the best results. Obviously, we are in the middle of Chodesh Elul, the month of Elul, preparing ourselves for the holidays. And not only as parents, but also as individuals. We need to sometimes pause and stop blaming everyone else for whatever what we have or we don't have. And look at ourselves and ask ourselves some tough, deep questions. Do we do what we need to do in order to become better people? And the only one who can answer this question is ourselves. Thank you.